Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Many people are saying, see a one when you were campaigning against Edgar Lungu, you campaigned against the Chinese. You said the Chinese are bad, the Chinese are evil, the Chinese want to destroy Africa. See, one, why are you dealing with the Chinese now? You know, see, one, why the Chinese? Why uh, you are now mingling with the Chinese? You are working with the Chinese. But we are fighting Eddie Galungu because uh, Eddie Galungu was working with the Chinese. I never say the Chinese people are bad people. China deal with you the way uh, you want to deal with them. China people are business people. When they come to you, the goodness, the goodness about China is that when China come to you, China are open. They will show you the right thing and show you the fake thing. Whatever you chose is what they will deal with you. So if China come to our politicians and they are corrupt, they can easily enter into corrupt agreements, like what was happening in Zambia, whereby uh, China want to build a road, a road that will cost uh, uh, 10 million US dollars. Corrupt politicians would say, make it 20 million US dollars. The rest of the 10 million is ours. China does it like that. They are business people. But when they come, you handle them well. Believe me, they are good partners. There is no any other country on earth that mean well for Africa more than China. There is no any other country in the world that mean well for the world more than China. China is willing to develop Africa. I mean, they have demonstrated it in so many ways. They have shown that they, they really love Africa and they would love to develop Africa. If around all around South Africa, um, all around Africa, when you go here, you will see there is a Chinese uh, uh, developmental work there. All the all the stadiums in Africa, all the modern stadiums in Africa today, including here in Nigeria, is constructed by the Chinese. Some of them we have not even paid for them, and we don't pay for them. Good roads done by the Chinese, we have not paid for them, and we may not even pay for them. So mention them, hospitals done by the Chinese. So instead of you dealing with America or the Western or UK, whatever they are, I mean, I encourage every country in Africa to start dealing with the Chinese. That is why I volunteered myself, entered into a partnership with them to develop Nigeria, you know, to develop Africa. And we are going to work together because I've discovered that they mean well for us. You know, they never colonized us the way America colonized us. China will never interfere in anybody's politics. China is here in Africa, Africa for business. So I encourage every uh, president in Africa to deal with the Chinese. Those are the people that will develop us. They mean well for everyone. Before you think of dealing with the Americans, working with the Americans, ask yourself, what, has, what have they done for my country? What has America, here in Nigeria, they have almost all the oil companies. I mean, you call them BPs, Shells, Mobile, and so on and so forth. They are here, Westerners. They are making millions. They are making billions in Nigeria, billions of dollars. But they are not doing anything for Nigeria. They don't build schools, they don't build hospitals. You know, they don't build anything. They are just after the oil. They get the oil and they go. Both China and the Western are here for our resources in Africa. 
And we don't have a problem with that. We want to work with people that will take the resources, get the resources, and help us develop. They get the resources, they build infrastructures for us. They build hospitals for us. They build uh, schools for us. These are the type of partnership that we want in Africa. Not the partnership of America, or partnership of uh, UK, or partnership of France. Those people have been with us for years. They even colonized us, but they didn't do anything for us. So that's why I chose to work with the Chinese. And that's why uh, together with them we have opened this office so that we can develop Nigeria. We want Nigeria to be developed. I mean, redevelopment. Not development of knowing how to speak English. There is no, nothing good about speaking good English. In fact, the bigger the English, the poorer the person. I just want you to check properly. When you see somebody that speaks English, Polish English, better English like a white person, that person is poor. You can never find a, 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 a rich man that speaks English like a white man. It's poverty that causes those things. And so that's why I chose to work with the Chinese. For those of you that are saying, see, I want, uh, why are you working with the Chinese? We are seeing you with the Chinese people. Yes, we are working with the Chinese because they want to develop us. We have sat down with the Chinese. We have spoken with the Chinese to have told them what we want, the real thing, and they have agreed to work with us that way. So why not work with them? So I just uh, want to introduce you to this office and tell you that uh, the office is open for you, uh, for business, for your spiritual help, and uh, for any other thing. Uh, may God bless you. I don't have many people. When you talk about Zambia, you, uh, this is politics. We don't just wake up and start talking about uh, something. We have done politics in 2021 and we won the election. The next time that we are going to come back is in 20. 25 stroke 2026 when we are going to campaign for a candidate that we know that can help the nation so as for now we don't talk about those things those of you that understand politics know that uh, i cannot just wake up and start talking and talk and talk and talk no when when i fought with Eddie galungu in zambia in 2016 and I was deported, he never heard me talking. Eddie Galungu believed that everything was well. He believed that uh, I had moved on, I had, uh, uh, had, had for, forgotten. He believed that uh, things are okay, Siawan is happy, uh, nothing is going to happen, because I kept quiet. When I came back, it came to him as a shock. So this is how politics is done. UPND can do whatever they are doing, they can be doing whatever they are doing, but uh, when time of politics comes, that's when we know, uh, that's when we know whether they did well or they did not do well. So we can't talk about politics now, it's too early for me to start fighting. Because even if we want to remove UPND from power today, when we start fighting them now, they still have a lot and a lot of time to amend any mistakes that they are making. So let's just watch what is going on. Let's just be following what is going on. We are coming back. What I want to say is that I will never disappoint the people. I will always be with the people. I will always side with the people. So if the people are saying they don't want UPND, I will help the people to remove UPND. If people are saying they want UPND, we are going to help uh, UPND to remain in power. That's how it is. And uh, 
that's why you don't hear me talk about politics now we are only this is the time of watching we are watching and observing upnd when the time comes uh, we shall see please may god bless you i just brought you to the office so that you can see the new office see what god has done uh, wherever you are you might have uh, you might be feeling low you know you might be feeling disappointed you might be feeling depressed you have lost things and you are feeling like giving up don't give up i, I was in your shoe i mean i lost everything that i had in zambia and started from scratch from then to now god has given me 20 times more than what i lost this is where i am today so don't be depressed i want my testimony to touch you i want why isn't eddie galungu arrested uh, it's because of upnd upnd is going to be shocked uh, upnd do not understand politics uh, i don't blame them the leader is a businessman he knows nothing about politics and the people he appointed as his advisors are really disappointing they don't also understand politics including his political advisor few uh, months ago i think last year i gave them political insight i told them that uh, you see the way you people are laughing at Eddie Galung. you you thought that Eddie Galung was finished Eddie Galungu was never going to be in public. I said, just watch Eddie Galungu. A few months from now, he will come out. And when he come out, it's a way calculated move that anywhere he goes, camera will follow him. They want him to be on the camera and uh, uh, clean himself up of what is going on. And in 2026 is going to be a very is going to be an election decider. You know, I gave that advice to the UPN, but uh, we are dealing with people who do not understand politics, people who are doing hide and seek. So we we allow them uh, to see in, in politics if they if they are listening they can be in power for 50 years 60 years but uh, you know when you are doing you are as a president you are, as a government you came into power through politics and you don't know politics you know you you don't even know anything about politics you lose power quicker than you got it and it's so painful because i can tell you the the meeting that is going on about hh when hh loses power that will be the end of his freedom hh is going to spend the rest of his life in jail uh, not because of something that he committed but because he is surrounded himself with people who do not understand politics people who are who are telling him yes sir yes sir, everything is okay uh, <laughs> <laughs> people who are deceiving him just like i told it the alone i am a political guru i was born a politician i can calculate what happened between now and the next 20 years i i told you that the alone will come out in public and it's going to be crucial also what is happening now uh, what is happening so it's out and it, i can assure you that no one is going to arrest the alone the way it is now is impossible to arrest him if you arrest him now the people will rise there is tension in the country between tonga people bemba and so on uh, bembas and other people feel feel like hh has employed only only tongas and so on there is massive division in the country that will make it impossible for Eddie Galungi to be arrested. We had massive support when that election was won. Time to arrest those guys and take care of them politically. But uh, 
uh, when I was talking, they said no, we don't want uh, to to we don't want to we don't want division in our country. You, we, we don't want to be venge, venge, vengeful. We don't want vengeance. <laughs> Ah, what is happening to them? So it will be it will be very impossible to arrest Edigalungu as it is now. It it will not happen. He can't be arrested because Bemba people, the Easterners, will not allow that to happen. There is serious uh, thing that is going on. Yeah, if if I can uh, use my other page and talk politics and what is going on in Zambia. There will be war. So I don't want to touch that now. I will keep it as for now we will come in 2025. So Edgar Lungu is not arrested because he's, uh, it will be impossible to arrest him now. Uh, and him coming to stand again in 20. 26 he won't win we are not going to allow him to win personally i myself see a one will not allow that to happen because he still has to apologize to me if you want to go back for us to clean him because i am the one that painted him all those a black charcoal that he has all those corruption and all those things that i was doing that time of policies i am the one that painted it i am the one that will clean the dirty if he want to be president he must call me come to me you know we we come in agreement then perfect we can start cleaning all those dirty that we put on him and start selling him I mean, HH was a uh, HH was unsellable. People used to call him Satanist, Freemason, and what what. And we came in, started doing the cleansing, and all of a sudden, uh, that man that everybody was saying what what what, he, he became the president today. So those Eddie Galungu can never be a president in Zambia when I'm alive, unless he come to me. But secretly or openly, we come in agreement, we remove all the mouth that we are putting on him, we start cleaning him, then he can become the president. But just waking up and say, I want to go and become the president, we are not going to allow that to happen. We are going to campaign badly. <laughs> then, I am the chief, um, <laughs> I engineer these things. So if he's, if he's really want to be president, he must come and see me in Zambia, in Nigeria here. Because I, I posted it the other day when I was uh, building my hotel. I said, he must come here. He must come and apologize to me. He was my friend, very good friend of mine. He must come and apologize to me. And the enter in agreement with me before we start cleaning him. Without that, he can never be president. You can cut my finger. The thing is that when I'm when I'm talking, when I'm talking, people say, ah, ah, ah. but you must follow my word. Has is there anything that I've said that never happened? Anything I tell you that will happen is what will happen. I told you during the election to say, even even if Jesus come and vote for Ediga, he was not he's not winning. Did you win? With all the prayers, all the people he surround himself with who we are saying, see our one is a satanist, what what what? Did you win? All the Holy Ghost fire they sent to me, all the blood of Jesus they sent to me. Did you win? He can never win until I forgive him. He come here, we make peace, and then we'll start uh, we start we go back now to the people and tell the people what we know about the Galung. This is politics. I am a, a politician. I am a politician, a born politician. So as it is now, PF stand a very good chance, very, very big chance. 
but not with Ediga because Ediga, I can't allow that to happen. It will never happen. Even if you bring Jesus again, you bring all the angels in heaven to vote for Ediga, he will never be president unless I forgive him. To me, PF should be. Uh, it should, PF should look at uh, Brian Mundibila. That's where that's the where they must be looking at, and they must come up with a leader now. I mean, they they have chances. They can come up with a leader now, and that leader must start leading, leading the party. Uh, there is a big chance for them, but not a big alone. Edgar cannot go anywhere unless he follow me to Nigeria, come to Nigeria, apologize to me, and enter an agreement with me. Then, uh, he, uh, what is there? <laughs> we are the one that do the campaign. We, we will do. We will start politics. You know, when people people say the reason why uh, you don't see me often speak often is because as a politician we do calculated a serious politician not those who talk yeah, 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 no. we calculate moves 2026 i've already calculated it i know where it's going and i know how things will be this is dj mutati exclusive Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.